Good day, I'm Yuveka Rangapa. It's unclear how much longer Nelson Mandela will be in hospital. The 94-year-old former president was admitted to one military hospital on Saturday. Yesterday, the presidency confirmed he was receiving treatment for a recurring lung infection. Madiba has been in hospital for nearly five days now and well wishes have poured in from across South Africa and the globe. It appears Kasatu Chief Zolenzima Vavi is a marked man. The Secretary General claims a senior crime intelligence officers recently told him one of his bodyguards may have been paid by Iranian intelligence services. Vavi also alleges that an NGO that Kasatu has worked with may also have taken money from Iranian officials. Speaking to Talk Radio 702's John Robbie this morning, he said it was not the first threat he had received. All right, threats to your life. What's that all about? Well, uh, um, that's the second threat that I've received. I, I want to confirm that, yes, I have received a threat uh, in June 2010, and uh, I did uh, report it to the authorities, the minister, and the commissioner of police then, or the general then. And, uh, and this uh, one okay, that came, a uh, warning that came from the uh, acting uh, uh, head of the crime intelligence uh, was also... Uh, matter that they saying that they are investigating and they have not been coming back to me to say what is the conclusion. Reserve Bank Governor Jill Marcus, her deputy governors and all board members are walking the talk. They've all decided to forego salary hikes next year. This is in response to a recent call by President Jacob Zuma for all company executives to agree to a freeze on wage hikes and bonuses over the next 12 months. Meanwhile, the chair of the ANC's Economic Transformation Commission says business is going to be one of the parties which have to make compromises to get the economy moving. He also says it's not possible to say whether taxes in the mining sector will increase. And South Africa's National Parks is offering up to 1 million rand for information that leads to authorities busting rhino poaching syndicates. Sand Park's bosses say they want the public to get involved in the fight against poaching. Information that leads to the arrest of one poacher could be worth 100,000 rand. Over 600 rhino have been killed across the country this year alone. And finally, Oscar Pistorius has taken on some of the world's fastest men, but he will face up to a different kind of opponent later today. Pistorius will be racing an Arabian horse in a Run Like the Wind challenge in Doha this evening. The Blade Runner is in Doha as part of the Definitely Able campaign, which focuses on some of the exceptional achievements of Paralympians. Topics trending on Twitter today. Stay tuned to Eyewitness News throughout the day for the latest news. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Eyewitness News. In touch, in tune and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.